What's up, fellas? Man, it's 9 a.m. So weird, bro. I'm an early bird, right? My ass be up early. 4 o'clock in the morning, 3.30 in the morning. And I don't use an alarm clock. But over here in Columbia, uh, East Coast time, I have not been able to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning. I mainly get up about 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning. But I ain't too hard on myself because technically I'm just on California time. But I'm about to head to the gym. And I was doing my routine this morning. And I just wanted to share it with y'all. So do about learning Spanish. Now by far, I am not bilingual. But my routine is getting me to be bilingual. And this morning I got an alert from Duolingo. It's been a little over 300 days and I've learned almost 600 words. So to hold a conversation, you need to know at least 2,500 words. See, that's why I still need a Google Translator. But it's been a year since I've been 100% focused on learning Spanish because I'm motivated. I knew I was going to be hanging out over here. So started with audiobooks, and I think I have maybe four or five audiobooks. I love audiobooks. If y'all don't have an Audible account, I highly recommend it. I got a lot of books, a lot of motivation books. But um, I started with Audible, and then my Duolingo, I set it up in February. So I'll be on my Duolingo every day. It said only 1% of people on Duolingo has accomplished what I accomplished with my streak. I'm motivated. But the one that's really taken me over the top, because as I'm about to walk out the door and go to the gym, I put on uh, some YouTube videos I found that teaches you 2,000 words. And that is taking me over the top. So I'm going to still do Duolingo. And I highly recommend Duolingo. I really don't use my audiobooks anymore. Uh, I haven't been on there in a while. But the YouTube videos teaching me words, and I'll spend about two, three hours. Well, while I'm working out, so at least a couple hours on YouTube. And then throughout the day, like all my friends over here, none of them speak English. So, I only talk to them in WhatsApp and Instagram and Spanish only. And that actually helps out a lot because just seeing the words on a consistent basis. But if you don't have Spanish speaking friends yet, start with YouTube, start with Duolingo, and be consistent. And that's the main thing. And it's amazing. Like now, I'm starting to uh, just blurt out words naturally. But, I'm tired of using that Google Translator. Keep it 100. I'll be feeling like a fucking retard using that thing. But I have no choice right now. And just keep trucking away. So I just wanted to share that with you. And uh, I'm gonna try to do these videos often. I'm looking at the stats. If I drop a video, my stats start to climb. If I see my stats starting to decline, then I'll post another video. I gotta be like that for now because uh, YouTube ain't putting no money in my pocket. Y'all start donating the cash apps, well, that's a different story. Motherfucker well, have some liquid to be able to get out and do way more shit. But until then, my grind is real. Sorry, B, I had to kill you. But, so y'all cats that's interested in traveling to a South American country, Take my advice. Start off with YouTube. Pay the $80 subscription of Duolingo. Like, I get Duolingo props. See, the thing with Duolingo, though, I was only practicing like 15 minutes a day. And with the YouTube, I can get in hours. Yeah, I guess I can get in hours of Duolingo, but I ain't got time like that. I gotta work. But I just listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. So, take my advice. Subscribe to the channel, share it to your boys. Oh, and major props to Columbia. Something I notice around here, everybody is so polite to each other. 
That's a beautiful thing. I had to tell my friend Maria about it. I go, I noticed something. Every person I run into, Buenos Aires, Hola, Child, everyone is just polite. And I said, it's not like that in America. She goes, she responded with, yeah, I heard it's not like that. But over here, it's just custom. And it's nice, man. And I was telling my aunt about it. She goes, well, it's like that in the South. But it ain't like that in California. Well, you know, I'm born and raised in California. I ain't never lived anywhere else. But since being here, I've noticed that. And let me tell you, that's a, it's nice, man. These people are nice over here. I, I love it. I love it. I, honestly, best decision I've ever made in my life. I just got to keep it going. And, you know, hopefully I can crack the safes on these other two things I'm working on. But I'll keep y'all updated. Donate to the Cash App. Send me to subscribe. I'm going to build, brother. I'm going to build. I love this country. I can't leave here. If I had to go back to America, I'd cry. All right, let me get my ass to the gym, a.k.a. the strip club. Y'all know. Oh, my God. It just makes my day every time I go into that gym. That's fucking real. I'll start all white guard.